you guys out there, how are you? Hello you guys, hello everyone, how are you? Oh, I hope you're keeping safe and well. Hello you guys, how are you? My name is Joni, welcome to my channel Joni Loves. Please hit that subscribe button and that bell, that would be so cool. So today we're going to chat about hydrators versus moisturisers. Do you need a hydrator or do you need a moisturiser or do you need both? So let's chat about the differences because it is a minefield out there. There's so many hydrators. This causes hydration. This does moisturise. This is a cream, whatever. Let's get into it and see if we can figure it out together. So the first thing I think to realise is when you say hydrators, it means humectants. And I've talked a lot about humectants before on this channel, but humectants are those ingredients that pull moisture from the air into the skin. So really good ingredients to put into products and have on your in your skincare routine. Okay, so they pull moisture from the air into the skin and that helps your skin cells to absorb nutrients better. So humectants are really good, okay? Next thing is moisturizers. So what do moisturizers do? Moisturizers are occlusives, and I want you to think about that word occlusive a little bit more. Um, occlusive means it sort of seals, and you can't get anything through, okay? So it's trapping and locking the moisture in your skin to help build your skin's protective barrier, okay? And you know, I've, I've gone on and on about your skin's protective barrier. This is really important this time of year in the winter time. We need to maintain a strong, healthy barrier, we do, and that helps protect us from the environment that's going on just now. And really, that is what moisturizers will do. A good moisturizer will put a seal on the skin. And if you can think underneath, it's keeping all the water in. And really, all the things that are happening underneath are really being protected by a good moisturizer. So it also prevents this um, transepidermal water loss that everybody's talked about before. But remember, the transepidermal water loss happens when you get a crack in your skin surface and the protective barrier then is compromised and then water starts to escaping from your skin. So a good moisturiser is going to prevent that happening, sort of seal the skin over. So which one do you need? Okay, so this is how to tell. Have you got dry, flaky skin? Have you? Because dry, flaky skin means that your skin is lacking oil. So you are looking for that moisturiser with nice oils in it, like jojoba oil, okay, or like shea butter. But oil is really going to be your friend and you're looking for that if you've got dry, flaky skin. What if you've got dehydrated skin? How do you know is, is it if it's dehydrated? Dehydrated skin usually looks quite dull and lacklustre and fine lines and wrinkles are more noticeable, okay? I always like to hold a mirror up and tell my clients to do this, where you just plump up the cheek area. And if there's lots of fine lines going across here, you can really see that that is hydration that the, the skin is needing. Mm -hmm. So that means you have to get the hydrators going on, you do. So also there's a difference in texture between a moisturiser and a hydrator. There is a difference. So let's have a wee look at what I'm talking about there. So first of all, I'm going to show you um, a product that is mainly hyaluronic acid and when you put that on um, and hyaluronic acid is a humectant when you put these type of hydrators on they really absorb fast and disappear fast into skin okay and they're really more lightweight so a hydrator is more a lightweight product great for combination oily acne skins and I would definitely say that if you've got Combination oily, acne skins, looking, you still have to wear a moisturiser, but looking for one that's a lightweight and, you know, checking the ingredients to make sure it's got the humectants, mainly humectants in it, and your skin will be fine all year round with that. Mm -hmm. So another one I'm going to show you, um, it's more of a creamy type feel, it's thicker, thicker product, and that's because there is more oils in this, okay, more moisturising oils. And just as I'm saying to you, it doesn't really absorb quickly at all into skin. In fact, it really just high, or hydrates, it just moisturises the top layer of the skin, okay, to put this barrier, but it's, it feels soothing on. When you put on a moisturiser, a really good moisturiser, it feels smoothing and the skin feels lovely and soft, okay? But it really doesn't delve deep into the layers no, it don't, doesn't delve deep in. Okay, so that's 
a moisturiser with great oils in it. And then you've got, which I do love this time of year, it's very popular, is an oil type serum. Okay, when we use an oil type serum, it very often comes in a dropper and just a couple of drops. And you can put this on. And again, this oil like serum just puts this lovely protective barrier, strengthens it up and acts as an occlusive to prevent any infection, any bacteria from getting in. But mainly, mainly these kind of things, these kind of moisturizers, they put this seal on so that you're not losing your own moisture content. And that's why they're important. OK, so let's have a look at the I've talked about difference in textures. The hydrators, hydrators keep the water in the skin, make the skin look plump, bouncy and glow. And you see that hydrators do make the skin glowing um, because it's like, if you think about a dried raisin, <laughs> sounds horrible that, but if you think about a dried raisin or your skin's like a dried prune, okay, it's all dried. And then you put water into it. It's like watering a plant, okay? When you do that and put ingredients that are going to act as humectants, it just absolutely you know, plumps it up, it makes it look lovely, okay, and it reflects light because of the water holding content, it reflects the light, so it's really great when you use a good hydrator, it does. So thinking about that, if your skin's looking like luster, you need to look for hyaluronic acid, one of my favourites, so hyaluronic acid or even sodium hyaluronic, which is the same thing, and um, just sometimes it's called that on the back, it's just a different version, but that's the one that's really good, sodium hyaluronic, um, glycerin, Honey, another great one. Um, AHA, some HAs like lactic acid, if that's in a product, uh -huh, you'll know that that is absolutely going to um, really add water to the water holding cells in the skin. The glycosaminoglycans, uh -huh, that's what they're called. And what else? Peptides. They also work as well. Um, thinking about that, they also work to draw water from the deeper tissues into the skin to make the skin look good. Mm -hmm. And then moisturisers. The moisturisers are more creamy. The job is to prevent, tool and protect the skin's barrier. That's what their main job is. So what have you got? Shea butter, okay, squalene. I love squalene, which is very like your own sebum. It mimics your own sebum. Jojoba oil and ceramides. Mm -hmm. Always looking at ceramides. Dermatologists, they're always talking about ceramides. So ceramides is great and also dimethicone. Now you have um, there is dimethicone and people always talk about silicones in products. I'm not going to go into that in this in this video, but dimethicone is a really, really good um, product for sealing over. In fact, it was in this last one I showed you as an ingredient. It's in this one. So it's really great for sealing in the water loss and putting this, helping the protective buyer to remain strong and healthy. The last word is, you know, I'm always saying you are what you eat. Uh -huh. or you are what you absorb, your body absorbs, but looking for water holding foods, fruits and vegetables, and also drinking water. Really just now during the winter time, you know, what's happening just now, the central heating's on, I know we know that, the central heating's on, and it's drying up the air. Okay, so the air in your homes and offices is drying up. And because of that, skin is getting a bit of a hammering just now. So you have to keep drinking the water, even more so than you do in the summer, drinking the water because it's dangerous when the, the skin is trying to get moisture from the air and there's no moisture to be got. The humidity is very low and it will take water from the inside, you know, from, from the deeper tissues. So to really replenish that, you have to be getting the water into you. Mm -hmm, you do. So I hope you are all excited because Santa is nearly here. He is. And looking forward to a few days time. And if you've got any questions at all, please remember you can put it in the comments below and I will gladly answer any skin issues that you've got. Okay, have a great week and take care of yourselves. Bye for now. Bye.